In this quick video, we'll assign the material and section properties for the girder, and later the post-tension tendon of our bridge model. To access materials, we'll open the input data menu and choose the materials tool. The materials window presents a database of common material properties which must be selected and imported into the project. For this example, we're going to select an appropriate steel material for the strands of a tendon, such as A992, by selecting the steel category and checking the material. To assign our bridge girder material, we'll change to the concrete category and select FC4. With both materials checked in the materials window, click OK to import the properties into the project. For the T-section used in this tutorial, we'll use a parametric cross-section which comes in Larsa 4D's custom section shape library. We'll import this shape by again accessing the input data menu, then selecting the sections tool, followed by the custom tab. Within the list of preset shapes, we'll choose the T-beam group, expand this group by clicking it, and then select single T-bridge beam. This shape is customized by setting its name and its seven dimension parameters. We'll set the name as girder T section and the parameters as follows. Depth to 72 inches, width to 288 inches, web thickness to 36 inches, flange thickness to 12 inches, flange thickness 2 to 6 inches, bevel height to 6 inches, and bevel width to 6 inches. With these parameters now defined, we'll click Import to bring the section definition into the project. Larsa 4D lets you know that it's creating a new parametric section database which is saved in a separate file from the Larsa 4D project. Here we see it asks you for a file name for this database. Click OK and save the file as basic bridge example sections. We'll need this file in the next part of this tutorial to enter geometry for our bridge model, so please take note of its name, which has an LPSX file extension, before continuing on to the next video.